Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, I am losing my voice. <sighs> One of the drawbacks of working with small kids is they cough and they sneeze on you. And so you pick up their germs. Okay, so here I have the Halo Infinite Marines. Uh, there are three variations. This guy, this guy, and this guy are the same. Uh, these two have the same basic body, but obviously he's a different flesh tone to this guy. In fact, he is the only one where you can see his face. He's a black guy. The rest of the guys are helmeted, you don't know. Well, today, I'm looking at Marines again. We've got a triple pack, and these are sand colored. So I am gonna open this and have a look. If I look on the back of the box, there is nothing that we haven't seen before there. So only this is new, and it appears to be a new rocket launcher, perhaps. So let me open this up, turn the camera around, and we can take a look. Here they are, and they are exactly the same as the original Marines in terms of body sculpts. Just the colours are different, and this guy has a new head. But these guys look far better than the originals. In fact, if I look, yeah, they are the same. There is no difference. Even the shoes are the same. Um... But these guys in the sand colour, I just think look far better. Now these are fantastic army builders if you can find them for cheap. I paid way too much for my set because it's brand spanking new on the market. But I think it's a really, really nice looking set. You get three marines, you get a new gun, uh, that sort of rocket launcher rifle thingy on his shoulder, not sure what that is. Um... The main issue is that they can't hold their guns nicely, generally speaking. Uh, but you can do things to make that easier by shaving down the uh, forearms and the uh, bicep so the joint has more room uh, to move and that will make it easier for them to hold the gun. So that means I now have eight marines in total from the Halo Infinite series and I think they are great figures um, I'm hoping to get more of these sand colour ones in the future and any more marine releases that they may push out because I think they are great figures uh, if you've not seen the original videos then I will quickly show you articulation so there's a left and a right there's an up and a down, there's a side to side, all around, about so far than the uh, shoulder parts. Blech. Get in the way, this guy doesn't, doesn't want to go further, but he does. Uh, biceps, not particularly far. Almost 19, not quite. There is a small trunk for turn, not really side to side, not really um, forwards, backwards or side to side. Legs don't go far, forwards is good, backwards is yeah. There is a twist from the hip, there's a double knee joint, so that's pretty good. There is no foot turn, only the swivel. And then they have a small dorsiflexation, but a pretty good tippy toe. And there's one falling over already. Um, articulation is not the best, but the figures are actually really nice looking. I think they are a good buy. Particularly, you know, if you can find them in clearance, good luck with that, because people like to only build these, and for good reason. Um, and even if you pay regular price, I think it's, it's worth getting some. I, as I said, I'm going to be looking to get some more of these sand colour ones, and maybe even the uh, original colour scheme ones in the future. Just to build up my uh, background army forces for my uh, for my sci-fi and my uh, military universes. Okay, this is awesome. Actually, always signing out saying please like, share, subscribe, click on notification icon, stay up to date, latest news, reviews, videos, etc. Quick height comparison. If I put this guy behind, you can see that he towers over them, but they are good. 3.75 inch figures. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.